so welcome back and today I'm going to be taking you through a speed build which I did a long time ago so this is going to be a bit of a uh, recap this is the quadra shroom and as you can see I'm building it in uh, five by five chunks using build mode pretty much freehand and then I'm going to move it up to a seven by seven and then stagger it out as you can see by removing a block and coming off of that so it's tanks in the middle followed by recharge blocks around the outside and uh, yeah what we gotta do here is just trim it up I just wanted to completely encase the uh, power in recharge blocks and then that's that layer done it's gonna be a small ship inspired by the uh, quad quadracopters that you get in a remote control uh, modeling and now we're going to encase that in a uh, 9 by 9 by 9 shields. As you can see, that's one all the way around, so you should be able to just sort of freehand it. It did get a bit trickier, but we managed to get there in the end. And uh, just due to the way that I built it, really. So off we go, putting shields around the outside of the power system. <coughs> that means, of course, that the entire ship is, in fact, a shielded reactor with storage on the inside. Those being the uh, dead weight blocks in terms of a uh, power regen. And onward we go. And so the idea is to completely encase the entire ship with some shield blocks. And once we've managed to get all the way through, I'll think about putting some hull over the top. little bit more power obviously I didn't have enough at that point I think I decided I was going to make the um, the basic shape out of those recharge blocks nice and solid and uh, here we go so now we can shield over the top just completely encase it and start putting the engines on the back. I wanted to do something a little bit fancy with the engines because, you know, engines need to be fancy. <clears throat> of course, they're going to be connected. Um, so I've put them all in one big group. So now we're going to move and build these out. And a little bit more shields on the side. Taper it off. And nearly done. So I just need to put a little bit of hull in here. Already put some crystal down the side. Sorry, I couldn't show you that part, but I effectively just put crystal down one side. Um, just going with hull over the top. It's going to be a rather large cabin at the front. And the engines are a sort of curvy design sticking off the back. And um, as you can see now, we're just sort of shielding up the very last areas that weren't shielded. <coughs> the uh, entrance, of course, being at the top there. And uh, yeah, almost done now with the top section. And of course, there will be turrets fitted to the top and the bottom of each arm. That's the concept of this particular ship, the Quadra Shroom. And you're going to see this one in the... Uh, Proving Grounds testing. One of the many challenges you'll have to defeat by combat. And turrets, of course, were donated by Dalmont. Thanks very much for those. You'll see those soon. Oh, in fact, not on this video. You'll see those next time. But for now, I'm just going to show the construction of the actual ship. So now we're building the uh, front end of the vessel. Got some intakes there for the engine system, which runs down the entire ship. Have it. I like using this lighting, uh, sort of semi-hidden. Now we're going to go with a straight up massive block of water off the front there. And that's it. Done. Case it up, put the roof on. And then all that's left to do is to uh, tweak up the inside, make sure the corridors are all nice. And... Uh, 
pretty much good to go. So just uh, putting a bit of detailing in now, make that line run through like some kind of energy conduit, I like, kind of like that. The ship needs more cactus, aside from that it's looking good. So I'm going to close all of this off, I'm going to use the green glow of the tanks for a special feature on the back wall of the uh, cabin there. So I'll put water over the top. And we're going to use gravity to get around, so uh, there'll be a drop into the pilot seat from the core room, which is going to be in the center at the top. So there we go. Time for the Mushroom Fleet logo. Gives it a nice glow. Build ourselves a derpy roof. And uh, tighten it all up. Bit of lighting here, a few uh, areas there. <coughs> Whack a door in, it's always a good idea. People like to be able to get in the ship. So uh, there we go. And that's one hatch done. Question mark. Yeah, done. Give it a little bit of detailing, smoothing it out, cover up a few of those systems. I don't mind leaving engines exposed, but usually only on one side. Let's see if we uh, cover the whole thing up. So we're nearly at the end of the build now. There's not really much left to do but wedging and interior detailing. But for all intents and purposes, she's holed up and ready to go. Yeah, we're going to do the inside edge. Just on the sides. Very nice. Okay, and so there it is, for all intents and purposes. Oh, I've got cactus in the hot bar. Ah, I think I'm just using it to sight up the uh, points to make sure they're all level. There are some on the sides, but I don't intend on using them uh, for large turrets. Maybe for just for some little spotters. There's not really, really much room on the side there. And so there it is, pretty much. Quadra Shroom is nearly complete. Stick a few cameras in. Cameras are always useful. And make it look nice. <laughs> make sure there's no holes. That'd be nice. Don't want too many holes. But yeah, it's not a very big ship. It's uh, 140 by 157 for the uh, length and width. So it uh, actually gets some buffs to turning, believe it or not. And you're going to be seeing this one with some turrets. <coughs> if you followed the uh, photos, you would have already seen uh, screenshots of this one. It's a bit of a lost episode, this one. I am currently going through all of the old stuff just to make sure we haven't missed anything. A few things seem to have slipped the net, including this particular ship. And uh, it seems that it was from a night when General Von Doom came along to show us this fiber ship, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll be catching you in the next one. So I'm going to leave this now with a few shots of the fiber, and Ryben's here too by the looks of it. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.